Really come around with the rhythm, it's the sound. Everybody get down when we give it to you. Oh, yeah. Virgo, how you doing? So I've got a new deck here, okay, that I've just got, and then I've also making my own two or three decks here. So we're going to do you a couple of questions. Um, you can also watch this as a Life Path 9 or Virgo, obviously. But uh, we're going to look at the left side and the right side of a yes or no or maybe kind of situation. So any kind of emotional on the left side of emotional energy for Virgo of advice for Virgo, any emotional energy. So we have got yes. Feeling yourself, uh, freeing yourself from toxic attachments, healing and moving on from past hurts, judgment. Okay, so as a feeling, there might be this very nostalgic kind of like, are you all right? And you're like, not really. I've got quite a bit on my mind. I've got loads of stuff going on. There might be this very genuine guy around you here that might be trying to support you through this time. I don't know what it is that you've kind of got going on in your life, Virgo, but it might be like depression. It could be like getting over the past. There could have been like a um, some kind of situation going on at home, at work or in the love life. And you're kind of like, you know what, I just don't feel myself. And I'm still thinking about the past. And this person's trying to cheer you up. Okay. So something in your energy that there is somebody around you. Okay. Now, this could be a past breakup because it is judgment. Okay. So it does mean like retrograde moments. You could have had a moment of nostalgia, a connection with someone from the past. You kind of got back together. You communicated for a bit and then you broke up. Okay. And now you're kind of on your own or this person is. Okay. And they're trying to put themselves back out there in order to feel good. Okay. So there could be a lot of conversations going on between friends and family about exes and stuff like that and things, something that just didn't quite work out here. Okay. So it's like freeing yourself from the devil, basically. Okay. Um, so let's see. So let's have a look at the actions. Any kind of messages for actions for Virgo? Actions. So you got yes, again. A period of harmony and peace. Uh, taking a balanced approach to resolve conflicts. Temperance. So you got five energy here. So there is this conflict that you may have had with somebody and you had this brief moment of retrograde where you could have heard from someone or got back with them, okay, and because of them, M, Emily, Melissa, Maria, Michael Jackson, Julian, Justin, Justin, Jack, Jasmine, Jack, okay, and a period of that, and now there's this more balanced approach, maybe between both of you. You could have discovered, or this person could have, in order to just be sort of like friends, okay, in order to just say, well, look, you know, if we can't be lovers, how can we be lovers if we can't be friends? And how can we be friends if we can't be lovers? So the only way is, is either separate and not have anything to do with one another or actually agree to disagree and actually still kind of see each other-ish, okay? It might be a fish. could be something around a Pisces, okay? Um, now, if you guys are still kind of communicating more on an even balance or Stephen, okay, a period of harmony and peace Taking a balanced approach to resolve conflicts is like, you know what, let's just not worry about it. Let's not think about it. Let's just kind of get on and, you know, see what happens, right? With no ultimate no and yes and, like, argumentative energy, it's more kind of saying that you might be more on an even keel with this person or the name Kelly or Keely, okay? Um, hmm. Now, if you have just reconciled, you've just reconciled here with somebody and they've agreed to try and work this out somehow, it's either as friends or it's actually as going back into a commitment and a relationship with this person and decided to maybe give it another go, okay? So let's have a look as uh, at an overall advice, and then we'll look at my deck for you there. So um, any overall advice for Virgo during this time? What have we got, Virgo? You got another yes. 
Something new is on the horizon. Meeting a new potential partner or friend. Wheel of Fortune. Ah, so now the messages change, Virgo. Okay, sorry, but I've got to make sure I get a really good uh, thumbnail. <laughs> so let's go down on the table, Dave. So what we've got here is now this where you or this person, if they just got out of a commitment or relationship with an ex, you two here could be consoling each other and talking to each other that's a new person. <clears throat> and they've not that long been single. They've not that long been single or you haven't, right? And now there's this potential where this this person could be who you're talking to. They're kind of consoling you. They're kind of looking at you as if to say, you know, are you all right? What's on your mind? You know, and you're kind of like consoling them and you're talking, okay? And there's this energy of uh, taking a balanced approach between the new person now, which is where you find this person more uh, equally balanced within their, uh, well, how they are, how they look, how they seem, you know, um, and this could be a, a new person on the horizon. So my horizon, event horizon, is my Aquarius slash maybe Leo energy because I deal in numerology, right? Leo and Aquarians could be in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node, or it could be theirs. If they have Aquarius in their chart as well as maybe you, that'd be this person. They've got more of a mercurial kind of energy here of Aquarius. Okay. So let's have a look at well, to be quite honest with you, I'm picking up on a single vibe, so I'm not going to use my cards. We'll have a couple just in case they relate to you here. But um, I'm kind of picking up on this single energy here for you, Virgo. Uh, any messages for Virgo, please, through mine and Dave's new deck? Let's see. Um, Virgo. Uh, if you only knew how much I think about you. Now, that really could be this past partner might be considering about getting back or reaching out at some point, but it could be someone new. It could be where you've started to think about this new person. New people always pull you from old behavior, old thoughts, old patterns. If you meet someone new, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel giddy. So it might be someone that you're thinking about or... Let's see, any messages for Virgo? Big bag of tits. So somebody might want to see your tits. <laughs> That's not really helping too much here, Dave. Um, let's see. Somebody might be a boob person. Or keep looking at your boobs. Let's see, Virgo. ADHD. Oh, you could be like me. <laughs> be like me. I have ADHD. So there could be mental health energy here because I was kind of picking up on somebody consoling this person and saying, like, do you feel all right? What's the matter with you? You know, you're like, oh, shit, man, I've got so much going on because judgment is about work environment and it's also about life in general, okay? So it's kind of like I've got shitloads going on. I've got stuff on my mind. And you're like, well, you look as if you're not kind of here, like, because it could be ADHD, right? People with ADHD or mental health, they drift off and they look – they spend a lot of time like just drifting off into nowhere and not really paying attention. And I do this a lot at work and places. I just can kind of like can find it difficult to focus when there's a lot going on. Um, so it's kind of like this person here could be female, but has some sort of like mental health energy going on. And this geezer is kind of like, are you all right? How are you feeling? And you're like, yeah, I'm not too bad. I'm just sort of kind of going through a bit of a moment. All right. But, um, trying to detach myself from the toxic thoughts or a uh, person from the past maybe and I'm just trying to get over that and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's kind of like mental health energy there possibly. Could be life path seven, five and nine. You're a part of that because you're a nine. Okay, could be um, Cancerian, Sag, Taurus. Um, let's see, any other messages for um, Virgo? So you've got trust issues, past and future, five and nine again. And I love talking to you. Wow, so that's coming up for this energy here. So you've had this um, this trust issue part here 
and this five and nine is really coming up around this retrograde moment of judgment of like, do I go back with a past partner or do I stay single or do I go for a new person here? Okay, now it could be the new person that you've met or it could actually be yourself that could well still be dealing with an ex or has just done that. Okay, so there's this energy of now trust issues that someone might have of like, no, I'm not letting anybody into my life because I don't trust women or men and you're all going to do the same. For fuck's sake, please do not do that because if you're doing that, you will mess up this energy of like, you know, someone that may be really trying to be genuine and I love talking to you and my, my intentions are good. They're not of the past. Okay. Now, one of you, if there's a mirrored energy here of like a new person meeting you, Virgo, and okay, so how do I explain this very quickly? If you meet someone new, the male and the female, say if you're a female Virgo, right? And the male and the female that were together, and it's not you, but they these two were together. One of them would have had a nine or a Virgo in their chart somewhere. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node. Out of six placements of two people, having a Virgo of the past is very highly, right? So the message that comes through is that it could be one of these people, say the feminine, that the male got out of, and then this is the male that is new for you, okay, that doesn't have trust issues, and you're single and you don't have trust issues. The trust issues is the female that was possibly left for maybe another woman or to be single. Because of single, you would get like, I don't want any other man. I want to stay single. I'm not really looking for any commitment or relationship. I don't want anybody around me at all, blah, blah, blah. I have trust issues of the past and the future, and I can't let it go. Because this is also a nine, meaning that the other person could have life power five, Sag, Taurus, and Virgo, maybe in their chart. Okay, five, nine, five, and nine. Okay, seven is also my ADHD cards. Okay. So it might be where one of these people, as a mirror, went through quite a lot of stuff and the person that they were with, um, like myself, because I, I have ADHD and I actually used to be with someone that had Virgo in their chart. Okay. But if you can see what I'm saying, there could have been a lot of trust issues, a lot of arguments kind of going on, blah, blah, blah. You was never really paying any attention to me anyway. And because there was a lot of breaking up and getting back together and breaking up and getting back together and you was emotionally distant and you wasn't really paying any me any attention and I felt alone and then you kept coming back trying to reconcile and make me feel better and say, like, are you all right? And like, not really, no, because you're a, piss, you're a pisshead and you do my head in. If all of that kind of went on into a situation with a couple here and it was present during retrograde, now both of you, are single, right? You're single. One of them is now possibly single with mental health but does not have trust issues because males, specific males, don't normally care about their feelings. They care about people and stuff, but I've known males be able to get over energies a lot quicker than females because they're feminine, right? If you get a masculine, masculine, they're like, no, I'm over my past. I'm ready to move forward. I love talking to you. What, you know, what's gone and kind of gone on in your love life, right? They would probably explain something like this, right? Now, like I said, one of them may be left with trust issues, not wanting to be in any kind of commitment at all, okay? And the new person that you meet could well, okay? Or Maxwell. Or Max, Maximus, or anybody's got M in the name, or E in the name. Let's see, Virgo. This connection will get stronger. So there you go. You got an eight and a six. Well, eight is Aquarius and Leo, okay, and six is Gemini and Capricorn. So if there is a new energy, this person could have ADHD. They could have um, Aquarius in their chart, maybe Leo, Gemini, or Capricorn. Okay. Life path seven, five, or nine. Okay. 
because this talks about strength and it talks about the future of Aquarian. So it means in the future, this connection will get stronger. But one or two of you could have mental health kind of energies going on and that might be what you are relating to here because it, it keeps spirit keeps getting me to put these cards here okay because there's trust issues of the past but there's a new energy here that is saying that the intentions are good so what it's saying is is that this new person that you might meet has kind of similar energy of possible mental health energy someone that you really enjoy talking to and this connection between both of you will get stronger the longer you keep communicating and talking about one's problems and getting to know one another. This energy could well start to get stronger of a new person. Okay, someone that you relate well to. So, I am going to um, make sure that I get uh, a good snapshot of this card also. Okay. Okay. Um, and if you want to join, it's only three or four dollars in order for you to do so from the link provided below. So now I've got my own deck and two or three decks on the, so I've got a, I'm buying a, an iPad pro. I've got a printer over there and I'm going to sketch out and I've also got my artist that's also doing it as well. So all of the cards that I'm making are all now being sort of like looked at for illustrations and how I want it to look <coughs> and for the questions and answers on it. So that will be for sale at some point. Okay, but um, if you would also like to join and pay and help me in my process of doing this, you get loads and loads and loads of different kind of readings over on the join button below that is only $4 for you to join per month. Hopefully you do it because it's also funding me and also to be able to do my project and also these free readings. If you would also like a cheap personal reading by myself, the best way of doing it is by following the link below to my Facebook so my Facebook, not only is it my personal one, but it's now turned into where it is so much easier for me to just quickly post up on Facebook or put everybody in a group of Messenger and say, I am offering half price readings or one or two questions of a yes or no, whichever way around, at this cheap price for today for the next four or five hours. If you would like one, please respond. I'll send you the information of how to pay and then I will get your reading done immediately and send it to you. They are all going to be cheap readings at different prices at different times, depending on the days and the times that I have free. If you would like to be participate in that, just follow the link to Facebook. If you're paranoid and schizophrenic and you don't want one and you're scared of the past, just make a new Facebook. <laughs> okay, leave everything private. <laughs> you know, kick people off it. But thanks very much. Really appreciate it. All links are provided below, guys. I really do hope that you join me over on the join button. Okay, and uh, I will see you soon.